shrimp bóng kia sạch mơ cư squid s q u i d sạch bóng kia s h o i m p lobster bóng con l o b s t e o acquisition ca từ từ vô a c q u i s i t i o n masteries ca miên chụp này đừng có buồn vì đôi chân đừng bị master đại three minutes miền này thả khăng khả ba bò chẳng khăng khả mà rồi có ai là o khăng khả rồi có có bật khăng khả bảy mũi three minutes rồi cả three minutes em thấy cargo cứ chỉ tụm nén để tục đội chuẩn ho cặp ba rồi có lan thom thom cargo cứ c a o g o timber timber cứ chỉ đam chớ vì bao gồm đội t i m b e o discard miền này thà bỏ bằng cháo lên chụp ra để bằng cháo hay bao gồm đội d i s c a o d exhaust miền này thà bật chèn e h a a u s t career fair miền này thà cả tăng bị bỏ cả nghĩa career fair fair f a i o child bearing đồng nạ ca này ca biên cồn child rearing ca mờ thai cồn rồi hồ đó cồn nâng cha bia mờ thai cồn bia impetus cầm đăng chôm rồi i m p e t u s vacancy miền này thà cái lại càng nhiều mũi là cái miền này nát vỡ và tại vì ai ao ấy này tham ấy vỡ bàn wealth miền này tập xa w e l d đối chấp xa các bạn ho xa đại xa undergo miền này thà cả bài pruol u n d e o g o sell clerk miền này thà shop assistant The the shopper who serve the customer, ne 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 bấm ra tại thị trấn ở trong shop, bấm ra sẽ vào cam S A L E S C L E O K. Swip miền này thả bò S W E E P. Bắt bò swip ping miền này thả tiếng sông tiếng mùn. Gate Gage miền này thà cà bò tôm. G A U G E. Promote miền này thà cà lực tự chất, rồi có cà cơm trâu. Overlook miền này thà cà ở bờ. Yell, yell, yell miền này thà cà đỏ lối. Ikrek I E L D. Island miền này thà cà đỏ nói chung nói sủng khăn sủng khăn. Device miền này ta khá chân này bật đặt lãng, rồi cả khá bật đặt lãng. D-E-V-I-S-E Thin, xâm nó cầm bóng T-I-N Porridge, bò bò, P-O-O-O-I-D-G-E Indeed, certainly, really, bật bật gọt, bật gọt chìa, bật gọt nà. I-N D E E D Fat Palm F A O T Bauer Buvian B O W E L S Diversify Cát phơi miền tràn mục xem xem kia D I V E O S I F Y Only to become more varied or different Air Kể giá sắp miền này thà Broadcast A-I-O Broadcast miền này thà Sọp xài Reckon Sing Cật O-E-C-K-O-N Rước ảnh bỏ bàn thà Chưa bị lưu 
indispensable đây mình ai khóa bàn mình ai khan bàn i n d i s p e n s a b l e indulging cap đây đùa i n d u l g i n g hectic phiếp chữ bộ chữ bò h e c t i c furnace đỏ f u r n i s h multitude phiếp chữ ăn sinh thực sinh thọm sinh thực sinh thọm m u l t i t u d e shop opera riêng là khâu to to s o a p o p e o a substitute chum nu s u b s t i t u t e rice paddy chum ca sờ o i c e p a d d great sờ dương ai pra bị rice o i c e hạt như này là tôm a u t tôm cái cho trên chấm miền này này thả feed f e e d adverse miền này thả ác lọc lăng having a negative or harmful effect on something miền này thả bắp bò lăng indulging chatren miền này thả comment để chui chết phơ vậy ở bụng lại phơ ảo in advertently I N A D V E R T E N T L E, not intentionally. The comment is that unfavorable means that the comment is wrong. Unfavorable effect can be applied to the comment is wrong. Dire, D I O E means that very serious or extreme means that clang. Clang clang, ensure E N S U O E for our record. Child rearing, parenting, record camera tag goal. Pester P E S T E O. Car chase child record. Ticket ya sap chase child record um can net a day. For net a day kung. We and me net a chair a tipple. W E A N Grant Mineta Capital Oil G O A N T E D Facet F A C E T Situation Satana Peep In title it means a low Kanoyat E N T I T L E Profanity Peep Promat P O O F A N I T E Recklessness, cái mình cần ông pí, phải bắt buộc là cọ, là bỏ sự cam mà phim, là bỏ nè, vì này là cái mình bỏ giặt, bỏ dài, o e c k l e s s n e s s. Testament, vì này là Bruce, phó tàng, t e s t a m e n t. Rebel, vì này là cầm một tiếng, o e b e l. Take a heavy toll on Mình này thả Have an adverse effect on something Mình là Paul Akra Tên lửa vầy mùi Contest Mình competition Cả bất cứ bất cứ bất cứ Run up Nếu chấp đích bì Draw D-O-A-W-S Mình này thả Tiện tiền Attract Contest C O N T E S T Runner up O U N N E O U P Under privilege Mình này thả without the money, possession, education, opportunity Mình này thả cỏ U N D E O P O I V I L E G E D Overlock mình này thả future situation Mình này thả sẽ thả nó phép nó bè ná cốt Rồi có ví dụ Cảm ơn khờ Cho lo mình overlock ấy Ai ước lọc Overlock mình này thả Cảm ơn mình khờ nhìn rồi có Cảm ơn mơ khờ nhìn Cảm ơn chạp ở rõm Glittering career mình này thả Pride career 
g l i t t e r g l e t t e o i n g Five idioms to use in IELTS. It says, "Quite twenty-two. It means that to get a job need experience, but to get experience, it need a job. For example, new graduates often face a quite twenty-two situation when they look to enter the job market, since they lack work experience. Many employer won't hire them, yet the rejection denied them to the opportunity to gain this experience." A double edge shot, an option that has both positive and negative results. Communicating via the internet has become a double edge shot. On the one hand, it allows people to communicate quickly with anyone around the world. On the other hand, it opens the doors to cyber bullying and hackers. Who can spew their negativities to a large audience, often anonymously? Cut both ways. A, de- a decision that has both positive and negative results. Pill choose a salary over an hourly wage, knowing that this decision cuts both ways. He will have a secure paycheck every month, but he won't be paid extra for overtime or ho- holiday work. At this door, if someone is at this door, they are seriously ill and likely to die. He wa- he has won five gold competitions in three months, a year after being at this door. You can also say that someone is near this door. A clean bill of health. If someone is get a clean bill of health. They are told that they are completely fit and healthy. He had full medical examination led last year, and was given a clean bill of health. Be dropping like flies. If people are dropping like flies, like numbers of them are falling ill or dying within a short period of them, or time. After his age, many of them friends were dropping like flies. Be fighting for your lives. If someone is fighting for their lives, they are seriously ill or injured and are in danger of dying. A boy aged fifteen was fighting for his life last night, but two younger children were said to be out of danger. Kick the bucket. If someone kick the bucket, they die. Our neighbor is about to kick the bucket. He has some sort of kidney infection. A shadow of your former self. If someone is a shadow of their former selves, they are very much thinner than they used to be. I couldn't believe how much face she lost. She is a shadow of her former self. Skin and bone. If you describe someone as skin and bone, or skin and bones. You means that they are very thin, usually because they were ill. By the end of her life, she was nothing but skin and bones. Under the weather, if you are under the weather, you are feeling ill. I have been feeling a bit under the weather for a couple of weeks. The raw for fear. If someone is the raw for fear, they are tired or injured. In the fourth round, both fighters suffer cut over the eyes, and the champion was beginning to lock the rocks for fear. Gain ground. If someone or something gains ground, they make progress and become more important and more powerful. His idea on nutrition have been gaining ground in recent years. Get our act together. If you get our act together. We organize ourselves effectively so that we can deal successful with things. We go in to be twenty points behind by Mondays, and we have got to get our act together. On the road, if you are on the road, you are making great progress and having a lot of success. I have done my first deal, and I was on the road. I couldn't see anything going wrong. Once you got get on the road, you feel as though you are unbeatable. On the right track, 
if someone or something is on the right track, they are acting or developing in a way that is likely to be successful. We are finding that guests for lunch and dinner or returning in increasing number are sure signs that we are on the right track. Full of beans. If you are full of beans, you are very happy and energetic. Jam was among them, full of beans after his long sleep. Down in the dumps. If you are down in the dumps, you feel depressed. I was in the dump when I met Jam. I was clearly not living the kind of life I should live. Get a kick out of something. If you get a kick out of something, you enjoy it very much. This doctor takes on shoot workloads and get a kick out of being busy, helping people, curing patients, and saving lives. Have a well of a time. If you have a well of a time, you enjoy yourself a lot. Kids all all ages will have a well of a time at the amusement park. Yes, I think uh, my province have a lot of interesting place. For example, we have a friendly atmosphere, a peaceful environment, and beautiful views. Plus, we also have a colorful, colorful market, history building, and some interesting museums and galleries. And in addition, we also have a lively. Lively, lively nightlife, spectacular sceneries, and street cafe, traditional local customs, and unspoiled countryside. Describe a time when you are very busy. One such busy time I really remember was the time when I had the deadline to submit my thesis paper which is the ultimate assignment to get a master degree in international relations. The thesis paper is of great importance to me because it will decide whether I can get through to the master course with flying color or not. I had just one month to complete my thesis paper but I had a full time job which accounted for 8 hours per day, so I had hardly few hours left for this graduation paper. I was also a procrastinator who always wait until the last minute to do any, anything which made me fall behind my schedule for my thesis paper submission. Moreover, <coughs> The thesis was really complex and challenging, therefore I had tons of tasks waiting for me to be carried out, such as collecting data for the, the report in the thesis, doing group discussions to brainstorm good ideas for the thesis, and suffering highs and lows to collect information online as references for the thesis. I even don't have time left for my personal staff to be more specific. I didn't, I didn't spend the time on visiting my parents for the whole month even though they were in the same town. I could then also visit some close friends, maintain my social networking profiles and update my blog. I did not feel good about it so it was particularly stressful to me. However, I knew that I had to stay motivated and productive to get through this hard time. I worked flat out and put a lot of time and effort into it to meet work flat out and put a lot of time and effort into it to meet tight deadlines and get the best results for the thesis paper. For the sake of that, I got a stress A in my thesis, continue my job and did well in my term final. I had to sacrifice a lot and maintain a strict routine and stop lots of my other activities that I usually do. At the end of the day, it was well for the, the effort and time. Describe a country you have visited. I suppose I should begin by highlighting the point of where this country is. In actually fact, the country size that I had visited so far can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Among those, India is the one that truly amassed me by many factors. India has a very long history. The country is very big and has the second largest population in the world. I guess this is why there are so many to see. 
For me, uh, one of the most interesting places in India is the Ganges River, which is well known as the longest and holiest river in India. While most rivers around the world are for recreation or sport, the Gang has many other functions. As the Indians believe that the river is holy, people come here to pray and wash themselves in its water. In addition, the river also has thousands of people who wash their clothes by beating them on rocks. The other thing that often impresses tourists is the unique architecture of Hindu temples. All over India and visitors can enter at any time. The temples are usually immense and have antique statues that are thousands of years old. Visitors are also welcome to eat and sleep in the temples at night if they have no place to go. After all, I have to say that paying these beautiful countries the second visit in future is one of the prioritized items on my bucket list. <coughs> Highlights to pick out and emphasize, count on the fingers on one hand to express that something is very sacred. A mass surprise someone strongly, recreation, entertainment, holy, sacred, immense, very large, antique, all, pay attention, visit, prioritize, treat something as more important than the other thing. Describe a vehicle you would like to own or something expensive you would like to buy. Regarding the fact that I am crazy about exploring the spaces, I have to say if I was a billionaire and I had a, an enormous amount of money, I would probably buy a spaceship for my own exploration, adventure, the man, the medicine accounting for this intention is that ever since I was a kid, I have always had a strong yearning for becoming an astronaut. Therefore, having my own personal spacecraft would give me the opportunity to fulfill my childhood dream. There is a myriad of purposes for my spacecraft. One of them is that I would use my spacecraft to visit other planets in the outer space and maybe one day I could find a habitable place for people. This certainly would be a great discovery for human beings, especially when the Earth is currently flooded by trash and contaminants. In addition, since photography is one of my hobbies, it would be fantastic to take pictures of different cholesterol bodies from the space, although this may sound crazy, I think with remarkable innovations in science. A spacecraft would become affordable for people in the years to come. Regarding to about, crazy about, like something very much, anonymous, puke, very large, account for, explain, yearning, a feeling of intense longing for something, fulfill, to complete, to achieve, a merit of, merit of something, a puke number, amount of something habitable, suitable or good enough to live, contaminant, pollutant, cholesterol, position or relating to the sky, remarkable, striking, worthy of attention, affordable, inexpensive, reasonably priced. Describe something you make by yourself. I guess I could begin by saying something about what the this thing is. In fact, I'm not that meticulous and patient. Therefore, the thing that I have created by myself can be counted on the finger of one hand. However, one thing that made me really proud of is the kid that I met when I was seven years old. In fact, it was also the very first thing that I created all the parts from scratch. Another part what the mission mentioned is the making process of this toy bed. My kid had the shape of a diamond and was made mainly of paper, considering the fact that I had never done anything like this before. It's not astonishing to say that I spent almost three days in a row to complete just the fundamental parts. The first step was attaching paper to a bamboo frame. Although this sounds quite a simple, it was absolutely not as easy as a piece of cake since I had to keep the balance for the kids. 
After that, it comes to the, the issue of assembling a lot of colorized, colorful lightweight pieces in order to make the test. The tony part was ensuring the flying ability of the kids even when it was attached with a long tail. Until now, it still remembers the gorgeous feeling when I completed the toy which was considered as a treasure back then. I guess this is mainly because it gave me a sense of own achievement and pride when I play with it or take a talk about it to my friend in my childhood. The whole world was just as, as simple and funny as a part to be drowned like Farmer Singer said. Meticulous showing great attention to detail, concentrating on the fingers of one hand say that something is really scare, scarce. Start from scratch, start from the very first part. Fundamental, basic and important in the rough, continuously. Assemble, put together, piece of cake, easy and not require a lot of effort. Tony is very difficult, ensure to make sure, gorgeous, very pleasant, beautiful and attractive. Throw a party to hold or to arrange a party. Describe one of your childhood toys that was special to you. I have many toys in my childhood and it's at different stages. I prefer different toys. However, among them, a teddy bear is the most special one to me and I still keep it at my closet until now. I guess that all kids love a furious friend and so did I. However, what made the bear really special to me was that this was a gift from my father on an occasion on my fifth birthdays. And everything about it was so different from our other staff beers. At the time, my father was working far away and I missed him so much I thought that he could not come back to celebrate my birthday party as he had did before. To my surprise, on my birthday, he suddenly came home and brought with him a lovely teddy bear missing him. I ran into him and my father gave me a big hug then kissed me. I was so excited about the teddy bear when I squeezed it, it said, I love you, by the most sweet and lovely boy on earth. Looking at it, it made me immediately think about my beloved father. His physical presence on my birthday was like gold to me. You know, it was really hard to not have one of the most important people to you in your birthday. I would never forget that special moment and the teddy bear meant so much to me. <coughs> <coughs> Describe a person who you have met and want to know more about. I'm going to talk about an acquaintance who I recently met at my local English club. His name is Dale and he's about the same age as me. I mean most people would agree that he looked quite young for his age. I think it's mainly due to his hairstyle. Dale has recently completed his postgraduate degree at Melbourne University in Australia and he is currently looking for a job in Vietnam where he told me that he would like to become an IL teacher despite the fact that he holds an MBA. I guess teaching English has always been one of his passions. I have to say that I don't know him really well because we only had a few brief conversations at the local English club but he seemed like a fascinating person that I would like to get to know better in the future. Anyway, when it comes to his personalities, honestly, as I said earlier, we only had a few brief conversations, so I don't know him really well. However, I would guess that he is very friendly and approachable individual. In fact, he actually made an effort to break the ice because I was just too shy to strike up a conversation. Well, in terms of the core reason why I think we could get along quite well, Firstly, we are both passionate about English. Actually, he had just scored a band age in his IL test, and it would be great if he could give me all the advice that I need to be at the same level. Secondly, I am also planning to study abroad in Australia, so he would be the ideal person to lead me in the right direction to enroll into the right course get a part-time job and so on. Describe a goal that you hope to achieve in future. 
I have a long desire to learn Chinese as a second foreign language, but even with my passion, I still have not achieved it yet. This passion grew in me just a few years ago when I watched a very inspiring movie about Chinese history and culture. Then I decided that I had to learn Chinese in order to explore more about this incredible nation. Besides knowing more than one language, it's very beneficial to not only my study but also my future career paths. Therefore, in order to achieve my target, I will teach myself for a Chinese course for beginners, which is held three times a week. I also intend to download many apps on my phone with the aim to study at home by myself. I have drawn my own schedule so that I can uh, make time for myself, study at least one hour per day. As currently, I have a full-time job. I am so busy that there was there there are days. When I have to work over time for travel far away to meet clients, moreover, after a tiring day, I am often feel deeply tired and find it hard to concentrate on studying at home. However, just thinking about the moments when I can speak Chinese gives me a sense of satisfaction, which encourage me to study harder and better. Do is I always remind myself that I have to keep up. With my schedule at any cost, if I want to make my dream come true. Describe a happy family event from your childhood. There are numerous happy events in my life that I call, I can recall, and among them, I would like to talk about the time when my father, family gathers to make a cake for New Year holiday. The New Year is a very special tradition holiday in my country. It was probably my most favorite holiday when I was a small girl, as my family had a lot of activity to celebrate this occasion. Among them, making the edge cake made me excited the most. The edge cake is made of glutinous rice, green beans, and fat pork wrapped in banana leaf in the shape of a square. I often play with my older brother when my parents prepare. The ingredients for the cake, and then my father lit a small fire to boil the cake overnight. It was perhaps the only since of the years when I was all allowed to stay up late. While my family was sitting around the warm fires, my grandmother would tell the old legendary story about the H K to come commemorate the. Filial affection of one prince to his father and remind us of the long-lasting tradition of our country. In recent years, my family has not had enough time for making the edge cake on our own. However, to me, a ready-made cake that we buy from the local markets can bring a special feeling and replace the taste of the edge cake from my childhood. I hope that my family can continue our tradition in the coming years. Describe a tall building in your hometown you like or dislike. I'm going to describe a high-risk building in my neighborhood. It's called Paradise Green City, located in Canada. Unlike other modern blocks, which are usually pure glass towers, the building is painted yellow. Although it's named Green City, the structure of Green City is not dissimilar to that of the most buildings in Canada nowadays. With the bottom half used as a shopping center and the top half. Occupied by apartments, one feature that makes the building unique is that its trade center offers Canadian products only, with a view to promoting domestic products to Hanoi people and also to supporting national manufacturers. At the entrance of the building, if you look to the right, you can easily find a store named Master Chef Bread, which sells traditional breads to people who. Just do not have enough time to go inside, so they line up waiting to pay. <laughs> In spite of its prime location, however, Paradise Green City offers reasonable price for its apartment, which are affordable for many middle-income families. From the building, we can enjoy the breathtaking sceneries. So, if you are planning to find a place with a beautiful and peaceful view, or simply want to buy something traditional. Paradise Green City may be a good choice. This like what I don't like about Paradise Green City, however, is that its design is neither eye-catching nor original. In fact, I personally find that it resembles 
ABC a modern building nearby moreover the paint colors doesn't match its modern structures which make the building somehow old fashioned and the quality as well as diversity of products on sale do not meet the expectations of most customers so I guess it is the reason why the building did doesn't attract as much attention from the public as expected. Describe a useful app or computer program for a smartphone, computer or tablet that you have used. Well, I'm really into mobile apps so I set up at least 20 helpful apps so on my smartphone like Meditation, TripAdvisor, TED, Lumosity, Duolingo, Wanderlist, but maybe Money Lovers is the most useful one and at the top of my list. Let me tell you about it in more details. The symbol of the app is a very cute pinky bang, uh, which impressed me a lot at the first size. There are many expenses for clothes, food, cosmetics divided so that at the end of the month I can know exactly what cost me a boom. What's uh, within my budget to tighten the belt next month? It is not an exaggeration to say that this way of saving money changed my life for the better. Thanks to that, I am better at money management. When talking about money saving, my friend consider me as a shining model for them to follow. This made me so proud of myself. In addition, my mom always got thirsty with me for my wasting money, but at the moment, she hardly lost her temper anymore and we seem to have better relationship than in the past. If anyone asks what application I like best, Money Lover is the first thing that come to my mind. Trust me, it is really helpful. Describe a short holidays that was special for you. Today, I'm going to share with you a short vacation that left me a profound impression. It was a trip to the hometown of one of my classmates at university. At the end of the second semester, our group at the university was invited to pay a five-day visit to the house of one of the group members, which is located in H. We had five people in total and box coach tickets to reach our destination. On arriving at the countryside which is quite secluded from the hostel and bus stall of the city line, we were greatly impressed by the picture risk landscapes there. The atmosphere was refreshing and the air is unpolluted. Unlike in the city where man, many of us were living in, my friend acted as a tour guide as he was well accustomed to the local lifestyles and tourist attractions there. We took the motorbikes to tours the city's land stops at some street vendors to test the local cuisine, which I personally found tasty and delicate. After doing the size, we gather in the evening for some small game and gossip about our study and our future career path. All in all, such a short vacation still fill me with a great delight each time. I recall it, hope that we could make another vacation someday before New Year's. Describe an antique or some other old things that your family has kept for a long time. When it's come to an old thing I keep in my family, I want to talk about the transformers that I got from my parents on my twenty my ten birthdays. On that day my parents boxed me a transformer as a birthday gift. When I opened the gift box I was really astonished by what I was seeing in front of me. It was an awesome transformer that I had been dreaming about for ages. The moment I saw this transformer I fell in love with it. It was pretty puke and looked like a hip yellow car and it could be shifted from a car to a robot action figures and back again. The transformer had a really nice color scheme and finish and it's come and it's come with a nice handgun like the weapon and different accessories. It was super cool and with the transformer there was a guard from my parents say in Sviti, you mean everything in the world for us and your father forever, the apple of our eyes. Happy birthday, love parent, I'm telling you. Although I was 
pretty young at this time. Those words impressed me a lot. Until today, I still keep this toy. It has been over 10 years since I got it. I love it not only because of the toy itself, but also because of the sentimental value it has for me. The value is irreplaceable. Describe a creative inventor or musician. I'm going to talk about a musician that I admire called Adam Levin. He also a singer who played the guitar and writes his own song. I think he recorded his first album about 10 years ago with his band called Maroon 5 and he released several other CDs since then. He became successful after many years of writing songs and performing live in small venues all over the country. Gradually, he built a following of people who liked his music. I think the key to his success was one of his songs that was used on the TV ad- advertisement. This means that more people become aware of his music. I found out uh, about them because one of my friends got tickets to see his in him in a concert. I hadn't heard any of his music before, but I went along to the gig and really enjoyed it. After that, I bought the first CD and now I have got all of them. The reason I am into Adam is that he has worked hard for his success. It takes years of practice to become a good singer and guitarist, and he spent several years playing to very small audiences before he becomes successful. I also like the fact that he writes his own music. I admire people who have worked hard to get where they are. Describe an art or craft activity you did when you were in school. Today I'm going to share with you about craft work that a bunch of high school buddies and I took part in. It was previous to meet at autumn festival that our form teachers made a decision to hold a small competition among our classmates. The, the team was to design the most attractive and meaningful lantern. My group decided on creating a spinning lantern while other group chose matching polar shapes like butterflies, fish and stars. As a matter of fact, ours was a lantern which spun around when a candle is placed inside. We symbolized the seasonal spinning of the earth around the sun, therefore it was a bit tricky and time consuming to make it work. My assignment that this was to cast the color plastic of papers and draw some exhausted pictures to decorate the exteriors of the la- lan- lantern. I drew grid shapes and cut them out neatly, glue and stuck them onto the shining outer surface of the spiny la- lantern. A couple of my friends strategized and positioned the art. I say so that it could spin properly, and we finished our product within three hours of hard work. This craft activity had a really special meaning for me. Actually, our team won the first prize not only in our class but the whole school as well. Afterwards, our lantern lantern was singled out and donated to the local orphan orphanage. I was really moved and pleased. Full. Please happy since we did accomplish some time for those less fortune. This uh, actually left a really profound mid autumn impression on me. Describe an activity you do for your heal or fitness. Staying in the good shape is everyone concerned and I am no exception. To be honest, I have been so caught up in my studies and I entered university that I have a problem in organizing my daily routine. However, I have been participating in the yoga club for about two years, which take me only one hour a day to try to lead a healthy lifestyle. Unlike dancing or running, yoga definitely involves stretching action. You may look at yoga and think that it is a lie and easy, but it is more demanding than it appears. Yoga allow me to work on all parts of my body. It can burn a lot of calories in just one hour of training. Also, it enhances my flexibility and suppleness in every single moment. What I enjoy the most about yoga is meditation. It is all about regulating your breathing and helping you take things off your mind easily. Another thing is that doing yoga is supposed to be good for curing heat touch and digestion related problems. So it benefits not only physical well-being but also mental health. 
by maintaining a schedule of taking part in the yoga class on a daily basis. I feel extremely relaxed and full of energy after the class. It helps me to keep fit and refresh my mind after long stressful days. And of course, I don't see myself stopping practicing this activity anytime soon. In good shape, a good physical condition of some form is some example for the man of his age. He is in good shape, caught up, completely involved in something. Example, he was so caught up in TV program that he forgot to do this homework, stretching action, action which make your muscles stronger by exercise in which you extend your arm and leg. When I get up in the morning, I do something stretching action to exercise the muscle, mus- muscle in my arm, demanding needing a lot of effort. As for the work of a farmer is physically very demanding. Work on, try hard to improve something or how something functions. She work on her yoga skill by practicing the exercise every day. Burn a lot of calories, use up a lot of energies that come from the food we eat. One uh, reason why people do exercise is to burn a lot of calories and lose weight. Flexibility. Uh, the ability to move and bend your body easily. As a product, should exercise help other people to maintain their flexibility, especially by stretching their muscle. Supplinus. The ability to move and bend your body into different positions. It is a synonym for flexibility. Example, different yoga movement develops supplinus in different muscles. Meditation, sinking deeply in silence to make you feel calm, especially to help you to relax. Try meditation after a stressful day at work. Regulating your breath, breathing, controlling the way in which you breathe in and out. Example, an important part of learning how to swim is regulating your breathing, taking off your mind, forgetting which are cause you anxiety or stress. After an exam, I usually have a short holiday to take things off my mind and enjoy myself. Curse, cue, make an illness go away. Example, the website advertises a new drug for curing AIDS. Digestion, the process of changing the food you eat into substances that the body can use. Unlike cows or horses, the digestion of grass is impossible for human well-being, general health and happiness. As a the company tries to ensure the well-being of its employers by providing good working conditions. Schedules a plan that lists all the things that you have to do and when you must do them. As a part for the next few years, I have a busy schedule which includes my yoga class each morning. I don't see myself stopping. I don't think that I will stop. I don't see myself stopping working in the next 10 years because I have to support my family. Anytime soon, in the near near future soon, I soon receive the exam result. Anytime soon, perhaps tomorrow. Describe a skill you would like to learn. Digital technology has reshaped the world in more than one way during the last decade. As a result, a new way of living and working has also prevailed among people, especially millennials. If you have heard about digital nomad, a work from uh, anywhere kind of employee, you really know how a specific digital skill set can improve and simplify your life, which is why a tech grid interest in the set Photoshop, one of the most powerful graphic design tools to be my next challenging to conquer. Being known as an incredible image editing program, Photoshop has earned its reputation for good design created and maintained by Adobe Photoshop provides users with a complete and advanced tool set to maximize their creativity. It can do anything regarding online Media, for example, creating, creating 3D images, resizing color corrections, and even editing video, fancy as it sounds. To acquire Photoshop skill would be a pen-staking process due to complete features and even more complex 
application Photoshop is not for those without patience and constant practice. Furthermore, the program usually get upgraded with more usages. Therefore, you would have to keep learning to avoid being obsolete. Graphic design is a critical skill in this digital era, which affords anyone flexibilities as well as uh, attractive income. Therefore, it would definitely be on top of my master learning skill in the near future. Actually, I have already scheduled my timetable and squeeze in some hours for Photoshop 101 class next month, and I hope it would go as well as it could be. Vocabulary used for expression prevail, exist, or be very common at a particular time or in a particular place. Billionaires, people who become adults around the year 2000. Digital nomads, people who use telecommunication technologies to earn a living. Simplify, make someone easy, make something easy to do or understand. Take interest in, become concerned or interested in someone or something. Conquer, succeed in dealing with or controlling something. Earn reputation, respect, collocation. Provide someone with uh, something. Provide someone. Provide something for someone. Maximize, increase something as much as possible. Acquire a skill and ascend, gain something by your own effort, ability, or behavior. Pen stacking, needing a lot of care, effort, and attention to detail. Features, a distinctive attribute or aspect of something. Constant practice, get upgraded, obsolete. I got that, afford, provide attractive income, schedule, arrange that an event or activity will happen at a particular time. Squeeze in, manage to make room or time for someone or something in the tight space or schedule. Unexpected benefits to human brain. Jam Poji, professor of education at the University of Wisconsin Medicine, played his first video game years ago when his six years old son Sam for playing Pajama Sam. No need to hide when it is dark outside. He wants to play the game so he could support Sam problem solving. <coughs> Though Pajama Sam is not an educational game, it is replete, replete with the type of problem psychology study when they study thinking and learning. When he saw how well the game held Sam's attention, he wondered what sort of beats a more major video game may be. Video and computer games, like many other popular entertaining and editing kids activity, are looked down upon by many parents as time wasters and roast. Parents think that this game rots the brand. Violent video games are really blamed by the media and some experts as the reason why some just become violent or commit extreme antisocial behavior. Recent content analyzed of video games show that as many as 89% of gamers Games contain some violent content, but there is no form of aggressive content for 70% of popular games. Many scientists and psychologists like James Paul G. find that video games actually have many benefits. The main one being making kids smart. Video games may actually teach kids high level thinking skills that they will need in future. Video game change your brand. According to University of Wisconsin psychologist Sean Green, video game change the brand physical structure the same way as do learning to read. Playing the piano and navigating using a map, much like exercise, can be musical. The powerful combination of concentrations and reverting search of neurotransmitters like dopamine which strengthen neural sequences can build the player brain. Video game give your child brain a real workout in many video games. The skill required to win involves abstract and high-level thinking. 
These skills are not even taught at school. Some of mental skills trained by video game, including follow instructions, problem solving, logic, hand eyes, coordination, fine motor, and spatial skills. Research also suggests that people can learn iconic spatial and vision attention skills from video game. Visual attention. There have been even studies with adults showing that experience with video games is related to better search call skills. Jacob Benjamin, doctor from Beth is a medical center in New York, found a direct link between skill at video gaming and skill at keyhole or laparoscopic surgery, also a reason given by experts as to why fighter pilots of today are more skillful is that the generation's pilot are being vain on video games. The player learn to manage resources that are limited and decide the best use of resources. The same ways as in the realized in strategy games for instance while developing a, a city an unexpected surprise like an enemy may emerge. They, def- they force the player to be flexible and quicker change tactics. Sometimes the player does this almost every second of the game, given the brain a real workout. Work out. According to the researchers at the University of Rochester, led by Duff, Duff Bavaria, a cognitive scientist game simulating strong, stressful events such as those found in battle or action game could be a training tool for real-world situations. The study suggests that playing action video game prime the brains to make quick decisions. Video game can be used to train soldiers and search on. According to the study, Stephen Johnson, author of Everything Bad is Good for You, how today's popular cultures say gamers must deal with immediate problems while keeping their long-term goal on the horizon. Young gamers force themselves to read to get instructions, follow storylines of games, and get information from the game tech. Jam Paul G., professor of education at the University of Wisconsin Madison, says that playing a video game is similar to working through a science problem. Like students in a laboratory, gamers must come up with a hypothesis for support players in some games. Constantly strike a combination of weapon and power to use defeat an enemy. If one does not work, they change hypothesis and try the next one. Video games are going goal-driven experiences, CG, which are fundamental to learn. Link. Also, using much skill is important to win in many games that involve quantity analysis, like managing resources. In high level of a game, player usually fail the first time around, but they keep on trying until they succeed and move on to the next level. Many games are played online and involve cooperation with other online players in order to win. Video and computer games also have certain gain self-confidence, and many games are based on history, city buildings, and governance, and so on. Such games indirectly teach children about aspect of life on Earth. In an Upcoming study in the journal Current Biology author Dan Bavalia, Alexander Bojet, and C. Sean Green report that video game could provide a potent training regime for speeding up reaction in many types of real life situations. The research tested those of 18 to 25 years old who were not ordinarily video game players. They split the subject into two groups. One group played 50 hours of the fast-paced action video game Call of Duty 2 and Unreal Tournament, and the other group played 50 hours of the slow-moving strategy game The Sim 2. After this training period, all of subjects were asked to make quick decisions in several of that designed by researchers. The action game play were up to 25% faster at coming to a conclusion and answer just a money question correctly as the strategy can play in peers.
Mexico City, although it is hard to imagine in this age of urban sprawl and automobiles, North America once belongs to mammals, camels, ground sloths, as light as cows, beer sized beavers, and other formidable beasts. Some 11,000 years ago, however, these light bodies, mammals, and others, about 70 spices in all disappear. Their demise coincided loosely with the arrival of humans in the new world and dramatic climate change. Factors that have inspired several theories about the die-off, yet despite the case of scientific investigation, the exact cause remains a mystery. Now, new findings offer support to one of these controversial hypotheses that human Hunting drove this mega funeral managery to extinction. The overkill model, model emerged in the 1960s when it was put forth by Paul Martin of University of Arizona. Since then, critics have charged that no evidence exists to support the idea that the first American hunted to the extent necessary to cause these extinctions. But at the Annual meeting of Society of Vertebrate Paleontology in Mexico City last October, paleontologist John O'Reilly of University of California at Santa Barbara argued that in fact, hunting driven extinction is not only plausible, it was unavoidable. He was determined using a computer simulation that even a very modest amount of hunting would have wiped this animal out. Assume an initial human population of 100 people that grew no more than 2% annually, Oroy determined that if each band of, say, 50 people killed 15 to 20 large mammals a year, humans could have eliminated the animal population within 1,000 years. Light mammals, in particular, would have been vulnerable to the pressure because they have longer gestation periods than smaller mammals and their young require extended care. Not everyone agrees with Alroy's assessment. For one, the result depends in part on population size estimate for the extinct animals figure that are not necessarily reliable. But a more specific criticism comes from mammalogist Ross Mappies of American Museum of Natural History in New York City, who point out that the relevant archaeological record contains barely a dozen as a part of stone point embedded did in memoir bound and none is should be noted. A noun from other men mega fun remain. Hardly what one may expect if hunting throw this animal to extinction. Furthermore, some of these spices had few grains. The giant ten percent ground slot for example lie as far north as the Yukon as far south as Mexico we would have made slaughtering them in number sufficient to cause their extinction that the impossible, he said. Mark P. agreed that human most likely broke about this extinction as well as other around the world that coincided with human arrival, but not directly. Rather, he suggests that people may have introduced hyperlethalysis, perhaps through the dog or hiking vermin, which then spread widely among the immunologically nerve spaces of new world. As in the overkill model, populations of light mammals would have a harder time recovering repeat outbreak of a hyperdesis could do it quickly drive them to the point of no return. So far, monkeys does not have empirical evidence for the hyperdesis hypothesis, and it is won't be easy to come by. Hyperdesis would kill far too quickly to leave its signature on the bone themselves, but he hoped that an ally of tissue and DNA from the last mammals to perish will eventually reveal murderous microbes.
The third explanation for what grows on this North American extinction does not involve human beings. Instead, its proponent blames the loss on the weather. The place to send a poet witness considerable climate instability. It's planned paleontologist Roswell Graham of the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. As a result, certain habitats disappear and species that have one form community split apart. For some animals, the change brought opportunity for much of the megafauna. However, the increasingly or more generous environment left them with the shrinking geographical ranges. A dead sentence for large animals which need uh, large ranges. Although these creatures managed to maintain viable populations through most of the Pleistocene, the final ma- major fluctuation, the so called young diarrhea event, pushed them over the edge. Graham said, for this part, although it's convinced that human hunter demolished the titan of the Ice Age, overcame all the explain everything the disease and climate generous explain his assert and make accurate predictions about which species would eventually go extinct. Personally, I'm a vegetarian, he remarked, and I will find all of this kind of cross, but believable. The reason why it had big size mammal because extinct 11,000 years ago is under hot debate. First explanation is that hunting of humans made it happen. This so called overkill model began from 1960s, suggested by an expert who, however, received criticism of lack of further information. Another assumption promoted by Mang P is that deadly. Hyper disease from human caused their demises. However, his hypothesis requires more empirical evidence to testify its validity. Graham proposed a third hypothesis that climate instability in plants to send a poach through some species disappear, reduce geographical range, pose a dangerous signal to this giant and younger dryas even. Finally, wipe them out. Probably experiencing a different lifestyle, a different climate, being independent, experiencing a new culture, missing friends and family, meeting new people, feeling lonely, the language barrier, feeling homesick, a change in diet. What is culture shock? Culture shock describes the impact of moving from a familiar culture to one which is unfamiliar. It is an experience described by people who have traveled abroad to work, live, or study. It can be failed to a certain extent even when abroad on holiday. It includes the shock of a new environment, meeting lots of new people, and learning the way of a different country. It also includes the shock of being separated from the important people in your life. This may include family, friends, colleges, or teachers, people you would normally talk to at a time of uncertainty, people who give you support and guidance when familiar size, sound, smell, or taste are no longer there. You can miss them very much. If you are tired and jet late when you arrive, Small things can be upsetting and out of all proportions to their real significance. Climate. Many students find that the brightest climate affects them a lot. You may be used to a much warmer climate, or you may just find the grayness and dampness, especially during the winter months, difficult to get used to. Food. You may find pretty food strange. It may taste different or be cooked differently, or it may seem lighter or heavier than what you are used to. Language. Constantly listening and speaking in a foreign language is tiring. Although you may have learned English very thoroughly, it is impossible that the regional accents you discover when you arrive in the UK, make the language harder to understand than yourself. 
People may also speak quickly and may, you may feel too embarrassed to ask them to repeat what they have said. Dress. If you come from a warm climate, you may find it uncomfortable to wear heavy winter clothing. Not all students will find the style of dress different, but for others, people dress may seem immodest, unattractive, comical, or simple trap. Rule of Behavior. Every culture has unspoken rules which affect the way people treat each other. For example, the British generally have a reputation for punctuality in business and academic life. Keeping to time is important. You should always be on time for lectures, classes, and meetings with academic and administrative staff. Social life is a little more complicated. Arranging to miss and see a film at 8 p.m. means arriving at 8 p.m. But if you are invited to visit someone's home for dinner at 8 a.m., you should probably aim to arrive at about 8.10, but not later than 8.20. When going to a student party, an invitation for 8 p.m. probably means any time from 9 30 p.m. on board. A different and similarities are accepted. You may feel relaxed and confident and you become more familiar with the situation and feel well able to cope with new situations based on your growth experience. When you first arrive in a new culture, differences are intriguing and you may feel excited, stimulated, and curious. At this, this stage, you are still protected by the close memory of your home culture. Differences and similarities are valued and important. You may feel full of potential and able to trust yourself in all kinds of situations. Most situations become enjoyable, and you are able to make choice according to your preference and value. A letter, letter, a differences create an impact, and you may feel confused, isolated, or inadequate as you start to notice more and more cultural differences. And families and friends are not immediately available for support. Next, you may reject the differences you encounter. You may feel angry or frustrated, hostile to the new cultures. At this stage, you may be conscious mainly for how much you dislike it compared to home. Don't worry, as this is quite a healthy reaction. You are reconnecting with what you value about yourself and your own culture. The topic of today, reading, vocabulary, bus land, car pooling, congestion, congestion charging, gridlock, higher parking charges, Park and ride, road pricing, rush hour, traffic jam. When Long Dong first introduced the congestion charge in 2003, almost everyone was in favor. It seemed a tough but necessary decision. Some time had to be done to deal with the increasingly heavy traffic. Only the Federation for Small Business opposed the charge fearing that it would damage threat for small shopkeepers within the first two years. However, traffic in the capital had fallen by about 30%. A dramatic improvement, the success of the scheme seemed obvious, and other sides rushed to copy it. Since then, uh, however, traffic has slowly reached and congestion levels are now very similar to those in 2002. In fact, a recent survey showed that London is now the fourth most congested city in Europe. The only difference is that now motorists are paying for the pri privilege of sitting in gridlock. Supporters of the charge assured that Without a congestion charge, the traffic jam would be even worse. But clearly, this is hard to prove either way. Attempt to introduce more general road pricing have stalled. The purpose was for every vehicle to be fitted with a satellite receiver was to calculate the exact where and when the driver was traveling. Charging from 2 p.m. per mile or uncontested road to 1.34 pound on the busy road at P10. 
and online repetition against the proposal signed by over 1.8 million people made it very clear how the public felt about this latest tax and for now at least nothing further has been done to introduce it. Another strategy which has been implemented with the aim of reducing the number of cars on the road is that of reducing higher parking charge, introducing higher parking charge through town and city centers. However, the evidence suggests that again, this is not reducing the amount of traffic, but similarly, simply encouraging people to drive to out of town shopping center where parking is free. In this case, the victims are the small independent shop on our high streets. Ultimately, all these attempts to force motorists out of their cars have failed and we need to ask ourselves why the most obvious reason would seem to be a lack of any real alternative. Public transport in the UK is expensive, unreliable and slow. Now, when the, we use, usually choose to go by car, Milton Kidney's recent name as the most car-dependent city in Brighton has a public transport system where a 10-minute car journey during rush hour can often take up to two hours by bus. In contrast, Nottingham, the least car-dependent city according to the survey, has invested in 30 miles of cycle tracks and efficiency bus service and a 9-mile network of tram used by 10 million passengers. A year is clear we need to support an emergency which will reduce congestion both for our own convenience and more importantly to curb global warming. However, more thoughts need to be given to the solutions. Perhaps the government needs to consider spending more money on transport infrastructure before making motorists pay more for using their car. They are responsible for household dustbin collections or taking away all the rubbish you produce in the home. In recent years, many more sites have been set up to collect waste separately for recycling. There are 10 containers in car parkings or outside supermarkets for people to put bottles in. Clear green and brown bottles are separated. Also, new papers and magazines can be recycled as well as tins made of aluminum. One of the problems of this those, it, is that most people are not bothering to take their rubbish there. To overcome this, some local concerts also provide special containers of ten called recycled clean bins for residents to collect glass and paper in. They put this outside their houses at the same time as their rubbish and they are collected and recycled. I see, so are you saying that cycling is more important than actually reducing waste? No, nowadays many products are increasingly being designed with the use of recycling in mind and I think in general people are far more aware about these issues. because I do a range of sports like running and tennis but um, I've always dreamed of taking part in a triathlon I really like the idea of that um, the triathlon's a multi-sport event but rather a hard one it basically consists of swimming, cycling and running events but you have to do them one after the other you know, there are no breaks so it would be quite a challenge you can do various distances for each sport. There's an Olympic distance, which I wish I could do, but it would be too much for me. However, I think I'm likely to finish if I choose a shorter course. There's one that's, um, I think it involves a 750 meter swim, followed by 20 kilometers on the bike, and then a five kilometer run. As for when I take part in it, I'm not sure. 
Looking ahead, I don't expect I'll be able to tackle it until my academic year's ended. That means I'd be thinking in terms of maybe doing it in a year's time. That would be realistic, because I'd need time to train and really get into shape. It's not something that I could do in a hurry. Um, obviously, it would be a really healthy thing to do, because it would force me to get even fitter than I am now. Plus, I'd have to eat well during the training period, and get plenty of sleep and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to doing a triathlon. I'd really like to do it sometime soon, and I just hope I'll be successful at it. Have you always tried to do things that are healthy? Oh yes. Well, probably. I think I've enjoyed doing sport and exercise since I was a child. And uh, I also try to eat well and get plenty of sleep. Hilarious complain. Nah. Đó mất cơn nạt chút chương đã nửa mục tệ. Bốn nợ, bốn nợ cũng hợp bà đẹp đà. Họ ní, họ ní phía đốt sáng. Phú bà thí, phía cục ca. Ditch, ditch lẹ bóng cháu. Ích sáng rồi mò rư cò chôm nông ổn tế hẳn tế. Most countries want to improve standard of living through economic development. However, other things social value is lost as a result. Do you think the advantage of economic development outweighs the disadvantage? Living in a high standard level is the ultimate goal of many people. All of us are doing our best to live in comfort and peace. Governments try to satisfy their citizens' needs and provides them with all means of happiness and advance. To do this, the economy should be improved. Like everything else, this has its advantages and disadvantages as well. Developing the economy is certainly useful not only for the living standard purpose, but also for many other reasons. It may impact positively on the country in many fields, such as politics, cultures, and military power. Some people look for this point from another point of view. They see, they see that the economic advance for improving standards of living has some drawbacks. First of all, it is better to governments to satisfy the principal things for their people as food and medicines before thinking in providing a lot of leisure and comfort ways of living. Other reasons from their Opinion, easy come, easy go. Population may not act in good way toward facilities which constructed by the governments, especially if they were not funded from the people tax. In addition, they think that the social value may be affected by such development as they are convinced that the community will change and the moral of people like honest and truth will be modified. The families want gathers with their says regularly, and the sense of health and support can be furnished by the time due to the availability of money things to all people. I tend to see that it is very important for countries to develop their economy for the citizens' sake. I believe that the economy improvement advantages will have significant positive effects on the societies and the normal result of this development will be the advance of the nations. Last but not least, government and concern and the concerned regulatory authorities should try to make a sort of balance between raising the population income and keeping the community happy and tradition stable and not affected by any changes from foreign cultures. Some people think that the increasing business and cultural contact between countries bring many positive developments. Other things can cause the loss of national identities, discuss both views, and give your own opinions. 
People have different views about the impact of globalization, although this development could exert positive influences on national economy. I am a great concern that the preservation of national identities would be deterred. On the other hand, it is accused by many that cross-border economic and cultural cooperation could be the major drive of national growth. Firstly, increased international trade could create conditions for an economy to grow by leveraging their competitive advantages and boosting their export earnings. The benefit is best sound through reboot reboot economic development of net exporters like a country with the elimination of economic barriers between countries. Each country is a hub of agricultural products has earned a pure flow of foreign exchange by emerging as the second largest rice exporter worldwide. Improvement in people's spiritual lives would also accompany. Besides that, borderless cultural contact means that people have chance to get exposed to foreign cultures whose diversity could enable them to enrich their knowledge and have more choices of entertainment. The popularity of Korean and U.S. UK music products in a country could exemplify this point. On the other hand, I am more of the belief that the uniqueness of individual countries could be under stress as a consequence of growing international cooperation. Multinational co co cooperations could put them in a position to influence local cultural values and promote Western nations having their prison. This is because these Western ideologies could be easily assimilated into local cultures when Western standard products are marketed and consumers familiarize themselves with new lifestyles. These goods create this may in the long run result in the homogeneous set of beliefs and value adapted and erosion of culture, raw diversity worldwide. In conclusion, it is irrefutable that globalization has spread economic and social developments in many countries. However, the danger of lost nationality identities is also obvious to avoid such a consequence. I believe that nation need to take action to preserve their cultural identities through proper education and bolster social cohesion. Solving environment problems should be the responsibility of an international organization rather than each national government. Do you agree or disagree? There is no doubt that environment-related issues ought to be held responsible for by an international organization instead of individual countries. I disagree with this statement for some reasons. There are numerous environmental issues such as climate change, melting glaciers, and intensifying greenhouse effects happen on a global scale. As the argument goes, an international organization would act as a leader, issuing principle for all members of country to confirm to or it will have sufficient financial capacity, capabilities to support the improvement of the environment cities. Cases are the Kyoto Protocol has contributed to the slowing down of climate change on the earth or United Nations support for such for countries have helped improve the air quality there. This actually, however, failed to take into consideration the fact that compassion often backfire if an individual nation has no intentions to cooperate or the incentive provided can make deception countries over reliant and avoid coming up with innovative ideas to resource the country environmental situation. This in a long term exerts as a negative overall global effect. I side with those who think that a governmental party should take responsibility for addressing domestic environmental problems. Firstly, this practice would have a chain effect benefiting not only the host country but also neighboring nations. For instance, if China diminishes its emission by downsizing its industrial activities to a certain acceptable level, the air contamination in Hanoi would be reduced as a consequence. Secondly, the root of the complete resolution of environmental issues come at crossroads. 
the van only achieved by the effort of a country government if walking or cycling are promoted among those with an inclination to use private vehicles. This can help diminish the colossal volume of exhaust gas and ameliorate the communal air quality or if people are encouraged to participate in the international earth hours when everyone is asked to turn their lives off in 60 minutes, sugar amount of powers can be minimized in nineteen such events which are aimed at creating a mindset shift in the public regarding a Environmental protection and promoting a simple lifestyle can only be conducted by country government. In conclusion, uprooting environment problems should be the responsibility of each national government rather than an international organization. In the increase in people's life expectancy means that they have to work or order to pay for their retirement. One alternative is that people start to work at a younger age. Is this alternative a positive or negative development? A people's life expectancy is becoming higher every day, or the citizens have to devote more of their time to work. However, some decide to work at a younger age. From my own perspective, this trend is positive. Entering the workforce at an early age can be a good choice for people better financial circumstances. When they become old, the younger a person is, the more energetic and persistent he or she is in the, their job. Without a shadow of the doubt, Jan can perform most of his related tasks with their zeal and the best degree of their productivity. There is less of absent minded and <coughs> they are less absent-minded and would make fewer blunders and work while being capable of multitasking. Given this, promotion prospects are promising and they are likely to climb up the career ladder within some years. As a consequence, their income could be colossal enough to really afford them for the future retirement life. Besides, unlike the old citizens who might choose to start work late or fail to make hit ways in their career progression. The proactive young individual would have been wished if they opt for this alternative of working early. There is more time to simply different work environments, learn new skills and meet people from the diverse background without having to concern themselves about the low salary or miss opportunities triggered by job hopping. They can do this as long as they like since the judge's age permit experience and give them plenty of freedom to pursue their dreams, the salary then still accumulate in value, but the judge have job satisfaction and live their lives to the fullest. By way of conclusion, I would contend that the contemporary situation in which young people start making a living earlier than in the past is a positive development. Some people are born to be leaders, others believe leadership can be learned, discuss both with you and give your opinion. A leader is the demand of every nation, community, group or society. She is only wants to be relied on in the hour of need for guidance, guidance, action plan and brilliant strategies. At this point, it is often discussed whether leaders are born with leadership qualities or they are come up. Personally, I do believe that every individual is born with certain unique characteristics, but it requires exposure, learning, and experience of life to become a good leader. It is understandable that leaders are endowed with certain traits and qualities that make them better fit to leadership. To be more specific, these individuals possess certain inborn features such as extroversion among group members, bravery to challenges, conscious conscientiousness, target-oriented, reliable, emotional stability, or business acumen, which all contribute to the foundations of leadership. A leader is natural better in this area while others struggle to get to the same point. For instance, many commanders who fought bravely through the many fans come from the same families, which the next generation being skilled and talented as well. This Partly explain the role of genetics in forming the personality of the person. Those who advocate leaders 
are no church also have their reasons since individuals can become leaders in a structured environment through the process of learning, mentoring, and observation. This means that skills associated with leadership can be attained by training, practicing, and experience over time. The doctrine is quite manifest in the military as leaders often undergo training programs and have direct contact in various battlefields. In addition, with the comprehensive education system in modern time, it is increasingly easier for most of us to learn how to become a leader. Right from primary school, children are taught to lead a group discussion or act as an arbitrator in a debate. It plays a role in forming leadership capacity in every individual. Equalization both viewpoints have their own merits, but few uh, fortunately, best or with leadership quality, right? When they are verbal, leadership can also be an art. It is a set of inherent dispositions. This is perfect, perfected over time with education, practice, and experience for most people. Writing, reading, and math are the three major subjects some people think that computer skills should be at did as a fourth subject, what extent do you agree or disagree? With the advance of technological advancement, the education field has undergone enormous changes. It is accused that in addition to the traditional three core subjects, we are writing, reading, and mathematics, computer skills should be incorporated into the official school curriculum. This viewpoint has my support. As for workers, computer literacy is prerequisite for most well-paying jobs, and employees in modern world need to be well acquainted with word processing, PowerPoint presentation skill. If they wish to have a successful career and promise seeing job prospects, this is because most tasks at the workplace require the utilization of computers and the internet to be effectively performed. Staff need to type dozens of pages, send hundreds of emails per day, or browse the net for potential suppliers and cu customers. Without computer skills, it would be unimaginable if such tasks could be done in a speedy and timely manner. As for students, computer skills are demand as they push choose higher education at universities, college, or even vocational centers. For example, an undergraduate needs to search for interdisciplinary knowledge with various research published in online journals to complete their assignment as part of a course at university. Without computer-related skill, it would be impossible for the student to have access to these online materials and therefore fail to achieve the minimum grades to pass the course by contrast with the command of uh, computer skills they can further boost their study productivity by various applications installed on the computer like Photoshop, QuizNet, etc. In conclusion, I think it's essential for that computer skills be tough in tag them with numeracy, literacy, and mathematics to equip youngsters with what it is to succeed in the modern society.